If you are using a macro to improve a recording in Audacity, you should avoid noise reduction inside the macro. You should manually reduce noise before applying the macro or after applying the macro. The reason is a bit subtle. But it is important for the effective use of macro to improve the sound. So I will first explain why you should avoid noise reduction inside a macro and when and how you should apply noise reduction. I will duplicate this track. I just opened Audacity and have not used any audio editing effects after opening Audacity. It is important. After opening Audacity, once you start or restart your computer, Audacity has no noise profile. I will apply a macro that has noise reduction effect into it. I will show you a bit later what other effects this demo macro has. Ideally, I should select a noise profile before applying this macro. Because this demo macro has the noise reduction effect inside it. Let's assume I forgot to select the noise profile before applying the macro. If I apply the macro now, all the effects inside the macro will be applied. However, no noise reduction will happen. Using ACX check, I can take note of the current noise floor. If you do not know what ACX is, I will put a link in the description. ACX check ensures my audio quality follows a high standard. The current noise level is minus 52 dB. We can check what effects a macro has from the macro manager. Demo macro has two effects, noise reduction and normalize. The noise reduction has 6 dB noise reduction. This value is important. I will explain a bit later why it is important. The other effect is normalize. The peak amplitude is 0 dB in normalize effect. I will manually apply these two effects in the second track in the same order. The first is noise reduction. I assume you already know how to apply the noise reduction effect in Audacity, so not explaining the details. I will apply both effects with the same configuration I had in the macro. If I go to the ACX check, we will find the issue of noise reduction in the macro. The noise floor is minus 58 dB for the second track. In the first track, where I applied macro, it was minus 52 dB. That means the noise reduction was not effective in the macro. You may say it is obvious because I had not selected the noise profile before applying the macro. Well, practically we may forget to choose a noise profile before applying a macro. If a macro with a noise reduction effect is applied, it does not give us any error even though we do not select a noise profile. It is very easy to forget to choose a noise profile and we will get audio without the proper effects applied from a macro. The second issue is the application of the wrong noise profile. Because if you select a noise profile for one recording, it will be applied to other recordings unless you choose a new noise profile. I will go back to the duplicated stage from history. That means no macro is applied in the first track, and no effect is applied on the second track. If I applied the demo macro on the first track, the noise reduction would be applied. We can confirm that noise reduction has been applied through ACX check. When I applied the macro for the first time, the noise floor was minus 52. But this time minus 58 because now Audacity has a noise profile. Though I selected the noise profile from the second track, it is still applied on the first track. Different audio recordings may have different kinds of noise profiles. But Audacity will not care if it is the noise profile of the same track. It will apply noise reduction as long as it has a noise profile. If I close Audacity and open another project, the same noise profile will be used. Because when I closed Audacity in this way in Mac, it is still running in the background. You can see the Audacity menu here though the Audacity window is closed. I will open another project and apply the demo macro. If you do not understand the issues I am explaining, the main point is noise reduction is not working the way it should. Either no noise reduction is applied, or the wrong noise profile is applied. For this audio, I had not selected a noise profile, still noise reduction was applied. Selecting a noise profile before applying a macro can lead to these errors. There is a third issue with noise reduction in a macro. You cannot set the slider values for noise reduction settings in a macro. It always reads what the current settings are in your audacity. For example, I had set a noise reduction of 6 in the macro. But practically, it reads whatever my current noise reduction settings have. For other effects, it is not an issue. Because you can set whatever value you want for a particular field. I will change the noise reduction settings for demonstration. For example, for a particular recording where you have strong noise, you set the value 12 in noise reduction. I will close the window and open the project again.
Remember, the noise floor was around minus 60 after applying the macro. If I apply the macro again, it will have a lower noise floor. Because instead of 6 dB noise reduction, it will apply 12 dB noise reduction. But I have not changed the noise reduction settings within the macro. I changed it from outside of the macro. You can see the value is minus 66, which was minus 60 the first time. I understand all these things can be hard to grasp if you are not an audio engineer or do not have deep knowledge about audio editing. But these are problematic and make the noise reduction less effective inside a macro. If you are using a macro on your recording, you should do noise reduction separately. I have implemented some sound better macros for you. You can get these macros and make your sound better in one click. If you use any of the macros from this macro pack, you have to do noise reduction manually. The best part is you will understand how much noise reduction you will need. For example, I will apply the podcast improve macro. It will make the sound better and will make it suitable for podcasts by applying a professional EQ. If I now check it through ACX check, I will know exactly how much noise reduction I will need. It will need a 6 dB noise reduction to make the noise floor pass minus 60. You can check which effects I used in a macro from the macro manager. You can see no noise reduction has been used. I can do the 6 dB noise reduction manually and it will pass the noise floor in ACX. It has passed the noise floor. It failed at the peak, but that is easy to fix. I will apply a minus 3 dB normalize. Doing noise reduction separately from a macro will save you some headaches. Even if you are using your own macros, I suggest doing noise reduction separately. If you have not collected the macros yet, I would highly recommend getting it.